Hi, my name is Dalton Keita. I compose and I perform music under the name Lucid Vision. I am also a member of the Mile High Sound Movement, which is an artist collective and record label based out of Denver, Colorado. I've been composing music for about five years now, and this is what I do for my career. I've watched a lot of YouTube videos, read a lot of books, and then also spent a lot of time messing around with it. I play the piano, the guitar, I do some vocal work, and I also play the computer as well. An instrument is defined as a tool or implement specifically for delicate or scientific work. And a computer is one of the most precise and delicate tools for manipulating sound vibration and music. There's always gonna be fakes in any industry, whether it's the music industry or anything else. And sometimes you can tell who is actually controlling the music and who isn't and who's just pushing buttons. And sometimes you can't tell. And as the creator of this music and the live performance, we can create our interaction with the music to be as thorough or as button pushy as we prefer it to be. I would call myself a composer, a musician, and an artist before I would say that I'm a DJ, but I do understand where the misconception of the term DJ comes into play because it's such a popular term nowadays. And I think that's due to the fact that the act of the actual act of DJing is also known as beat matching, which is seamlessly mixing two songs together to create one continuous flow of music. And although, yes, I do DJ my songs together live, I also compose and record those songs in a studio as a songwriter and a recording artist would. And that's mainly what I do, whereas DJing is such a small part of the full spectrum of musicianship that goes into creating songs. The composition process is always different, and I've had a lot of people ask me similar questions to that on how I create the songs. And generally I start with a little melody on a piano, a riff on the guitar, or a vocal line, and I essentially loop that and figure out the tempo, the key signature, and add more layers to it, and then as it develops, it, it grows into more of song structure of verse, chorus, verse, chorus. I will actually start with an idea of a song, and then that idea will branch into something else. It evolves into a new idea, and then I end up liking the second idea more, so I end up going back and deleting the original idea that I started the song from. And that's part of the composition process is being willing to create, but also being willing to delete and and leave stuff behind and, and recreate and evolve that process of, of workflow. As a musician, you wear a lot of different hats. And we are not just musicians, but also our own booking agents, our own managers, at least in the beginning of your career. You do everything, all of your own social media, all your own booking, all your own management, whether it's putting together album artwork for the song release, contacting promoters and booking your own gigs, and then when you finally land the gig, then promoting it on social media, picking up the tickets, contacting all your friends, selling tickets. A lot of people think that the artist shows up to the show, plays for 45 minutes to an hour and gets paid however much money, whether it's $100, $500, $1,000, whatever, depending on the size of the artist. And that's not the way it is. The artist is the first person to show up to that venue and sound check with, of course, the rest of the venue staff. And then the artist is the last person to leave at the end, breaking down all the equipment and settling up the payments with the venue manager. 
there's a lot that goes into it that doesn't meet the eye. Over time, I have built up a lot of different venues that I've performed at, have the pleasure of performing at around Denver. Cervantes being my home field. I've also performed at Moe's Barbecue a couple times. I've performed at the Bluebird. I have had the opportunity of actually performing the Fillmore once. And it just keeps growing and growing. I've also performed tiny little dinky coffee shops and little art galleries. And I've performed on the CU Denver campus and just all over the place, like ridiculous, not nice settings sometimes, but you know, like it's the contrast of having the professional setting and, and uh, sometimes not the professional setting. <laughs> and it's a way to get out some of these emotions that are contained within us. But overall, I think music is an idea and a story that an artist is projecting and sharing with an audience. And it's a feeling that's indescribable, definitely. 